was it love was it love if i kissed you near that shore if i kissed you near that shore will your lips taste like love will your lips taste like love the love that i lost while growing up the love that i lost while growing up the love that i yearned while growing old the love that i yearned while growing old why do you seem like a distant dream though i come to see you every day though i come to see you every day your eyes take me to places that i have never seen before that i have never seen before can we run away to those places to save our love and feel that love for once can we run away to those places to save our love and feel that love for once or shall we bury this love under the sand and let it die in the scorching heat of others and let it die in the scorching heat of others and pretend we never felt anything for each other besides the love we lost due to fear of people hey welcome back to the 4 am talks podcast and you are listening to poems with ramya velu how are you guys doing thank you so much for tuning in today you would have recognized the slightest change that we made from the usual episodes that we record so basically in today's episode we recited the poem unlike the other days where we usually get into talking about the themes and then slowly moving into the poem and then talking about the different elements that are comprised in the poem but today we did this so before we dive right into the poem i would like to introduce you to why i wrote this poem so let me tell you what inspired me to write this so i was scrolling through instagram and i found this beautiful picture that read if you kiss me will it be just like i dreamed it now i can't show you the picture exactly but i would like to narrate it to you so that you can pictureize a beautiful picture in your head so just imagine that there are mountains there are beautiful mountains and near that mountain there is a water flowing or just think there's a river that's flowing near beautiful mountains and near that river you can see two beautiful girls one girl has a blonde hair and another girl has a brownish hair and these two girls are rowing a boat but they just stop in the middle of the river and look at each other they just make an eye contact and in that picture when i saw this beautiful sentence it just left me in no words it just said if you kiss me will it be just like i dreamed it isn't it cute now let me tell you another story of why i got inspired by it so i would like to give you an another 
picturization of my college so my college has three blocks one is the degree block and one is the pu block and another is a huge auditorium so near this auditorium there's a small library and behind that library it is connected to another degree block where it has like you know the post graduation building so if you pass by that block you will reach to the back side of the auditorium and there are different you know small little gates that has a place like hideout because nobody use those gates because i don't know like maybe people don't usually use the other side of the auditorium so there's this one small little place where me and my friend um you know we just go there and hang out so we basically named it as our hideout so while we were there having fun one day i saw two girls sitting just like in this picture and they were having conversations so i was wondering how cute is this to see but why are these girls in here because you know the the public display affection of any heterosexual couples is very very open so now this kind of relationships where we call it as gay lesbian bisexual these kind of relationships in india is still emerging and there are people who are coming out boldly and they are expressing themselves out and they are standing for their rights but it is not fully evolved how it is evolved in other western countries in how the other parts of the world are welcoming so when i saw these two couples i was just thinking what was love for them on the same day i was telling my friend what is love according to you we started having a lot of conversations on love and i was telling her how love changes over time for example love doesn't change over time i would like to talk about that as well love doesn't change over time but the situations around the love changes due to which there's a lot of indifferences that we feel for example imagine that you love your parents you are with your parents all the time when you are a young child but when you grow up it doesn't mean that you don't like them but you are trying to find different ways to go around and find your interest and you are living your life but it doesn't mean that while you are living your life you don't love your mother the same way you did it's as simple as that while i was thinking about this and while i was thinking about the lgbtq plus community i came up with this entire poem it is such a beautiful thing to cherish but i don't know why we are constrained why do we preach certain things like heterosexual relationships are more prominent in many countries and many patriarchies and many kind of you know toxic masculinity is being promoted in countries like india while i was thinking about this 
that's when I got an inspiration to write this poem. And I wrote this poem, it's quite a bit sad because, you know, we don't know how many people just don't express themselves out completely because they feel that it's just not going to work out because they fear a lot of things. I used to ask myself, what if, what if I belong to that category of gender? What if I identify myself as this, as that? And I realized it's difficult for you to live in this country because people don't let you live because people believe certain other stuffs that doesn't coincide with many things that you know many of the youngsters today who believe in different ways imagine you love a person so much and you want to tell that person that you love that person but you just cannot because you feel that it's never going to happen because of various reasons we are scared we are feared we are feeling too judgmental we feel we are being too judged by the society we know that this won't work out because nobody is going to accept for who you are and you don't have the strength to fight for it. I know one of my friend who said to me that who identified in the community, she said, I just can't fight for it sometimes because I feel I am too tired, exhausted in educating people, in letting know people about many things. My very own best friend also belongs to that community and one of my other dear friend as well as belongs to the community and when i see them i see them go through a different kind of a pain when people around them don't understand them don't get them don't make them feel comfortable so while i was doing this one interview for one of my blogs that i had to write i met this one person who was a trans woman and she spoke to me about a lot of things that she was concerned about the society she said how the society didn't let her live even today when i look into her posts i just see sadness i just see anger where people are just following her and not letting her live the life that she wants. This is not what we want to see in the society, don't we? When we think about love, I think love is just love. You might have heard this everywhere and it is same for me. I feel love is beautiful. It comes around in time. Sometimes it comes with pain, sometimes it comes with happiness, sometimes it comes with angry, but love is love. It doesn't have a name, it doesn't have a place, it doesn't have a religion. It comes out of genuity, it comes out of the pure happiness the pure joy that we see towards other people. And I wrote this line in my poem, Will your lips taste like love? Sometimes we just want to feel love through different ways. There's different ways of expressing love. If somebody asks you 
to drop a text as soon as you reach home that's a sign of love if somebody helps you to do your assignment even though you didn't ask that's a form of love if somebody makes sure that you eat in time is love we all lose love while we grow up while we grow into adults we lose love we start using the words like i don't like this i don't like this person this is not love this person can't do these things to me because somebody who loves me never does that when we grow up when we grow old we yearn for a different kind of love why can't this person wash the dishes today because i couldn't do it because i had a lot of other stuff to do why can't my husband today give me flowers because i had a bad day why can't my mother understand that i'm going through something why just can't she understand in this context of the poem i wrote it because i felt sometimes they just don't get it enough just imagine you like a person and you meet them every day and they seem like people like you want to live with that you watch in movies or series when you look into certain people's eye it takes you to a lot of places i don't know if you have experienced this sometimes they get to sometimes they get us to think that the eyes take me to places that i've never seen before you know sometimes certain people's eye play a huge role in healing some people's eye have a language to communicate with imagine you love a person and you want to save that love from that person but you just can't do it because you are constantly fearing something that is bothering you in the society society has conceived certain things at least in india but you just don't know what to do all the things certain people do is bury their love and pretend that they didn't have or they didn't feel anything for each other and this is what is happening everywhere in india so some people come out and they express themselves out and they stand up for their right and they have a very good expression about their gender but at the same time there are many people who just don't do it because they are scared this is the whole reason why i wanted to present this poem to you because i felt sad right now i don't know where i belong to i don't know which part of the gender spectrum i belong to i don't know if i like women i don't know if i like men because i have different opinions i have different perceptions that don't conceive with the societal norms 
and that is why i am presenting you this poem if you are someone who has already identified yourself as so and so i request you to stand up for yourself bravely let's figure out who we are what we are where we belong to and let's cultivate the loving culture beautifully let's preserve the love that we felt let us continue to love endlessly mystically and love until it hurts sometimes it's just philosophical you might be wondering what's all of this but sometimes that's the truth because love is beautiful with this i come to the flag end of this episode i'll come with an another episode next sunday until then take care bye